Hello everyone, my name is Duct Tape FPV, and I'll be collaborating along with Just Hack It to bring you guys some awesome content. So today, we have the GEP RC 405 stack, and this gives direct competition with the Speedy B stack, just with slightly better hardware. When you guys get your package and open it up, these are all the things that's gonna be inside. Now let's talk about some of its features. This play controller has connectors for everything. So if you are somebody who doesn't like soldering, then you'll like it. And on the other hand, any pad you can think of. The BEC on this FC is 3 amp for 5 volts and 2.5 amp for 9 volts, which will sustain all the HD systems that are currently available, including the DJI 03 Air Unit. GFRC made sure to provide full 6 UARTs while utilizing the 405 chipset. And the ESC is rated for 50 amps. The pad layout on this ESC is also very clean. If you look, it's very thick. It's like part of the PCB, which means if you get into a crash, you're not going to pull the pad off and make it useless. They're all double sided. And I'm telling you from flipping it in my hands and feeling it, it's a nice thick PCB. It's using the ICM 42688P gyro with improved filtering performance matched with a 16 megabyte black box. So what that means is if you need to test tune, you need to make any adjustments to your PIDs, you can log it, go ahead and check the filters and see what needs to be adjusted and make it fly better. It's a very great feature to have you will be grateful when you learn how to use it. Now, if we're gonna compare this with like a Speedy B stack, the difference is subtle. It, they're both gonna perform pretty decent, but there's definitely an upgrade in hardware quality, like the size of the inductors and the MOSFETs. And where that's really gonna come into play if it's not damaged is the life expectancy of the hardware. So now we're gonna go over the cons of this stack. There's only a couple. One being this flight controller does not have a TVS diode in the circuitry. A lot of flight controllers are adding them now. It is an option I like. However, you can always add one. Also, the capacitor that comes with the unit is not a Rubicon. It's not a Panasonic. It's definitely not a name brand one that we are familiar with. It is just a Chinese manufacturer. That is not to say it's not good. However, it's not a name brand capacitor that comes with it, easy change. 